Hello, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. Sorry, let me turn off the the fan first. Okay. All right. So I'm setting up my uh, screen recording and also my camera so that I can use my camera footage as a webcam. Uh, okay, so it is very simple to create some webcam effect in Filmora 11. You know that I create so many tutorials here on YouTube uh, using other software, but uh, many of you ask me how to create special webcam effects such as uh, uh, zoom, in, zoom in your webcam and uh, move the webcam to the corner of the video and also make the, the webcam disappear and make it full screen or stuff like that. So that is what I'm going to, to show you in this video. Okay, so this is the intro. And now I have to stop the video here on my camera and and also stop the screen recording also. Okay. All right, so back to my computer screen. And now I'm using Camtasia to record the screen and also edit the video. So if you want to try Camtasia, I will put the link in the description for you. All right, so let's go to my computer screen. So here's the main user interface of Filmora 11. And the first thing, I have a video here, which is the screen recording video. And make sure that you have audio for this screen recording. Okay, just try and drop it onto a timeline. So you, here, you can hear something here. And the next thing is the video from your camera. Okay, so I already downloaded it to my computer. And now all we need to do is to double click here to import that footage. Just go here and select my folder. Okay. And also in this video, I also have audio because it is very important that you have audio on both your screen recording and your video so that Filmora can synchronize them. Okay. Just select here and then click open. And the next thing we, we need to synchronize the audio up to video okay so just go here and then drag and drop it onto the timeline keep the project setting and the next thing we want to separate the audio from the video here okay for example this one i want to right click and select detach audio by doing this we can use the auto synchronization option in Filmora 11 otherwise if we have two video and they cannot be synchronized okay so to synchronize, we just need to select the screen recording video and the audio and then uh, press and hold your control key to select both of them, okay? And then right click and select this one option, auto synchronization, okay? And let it work, hopefully. Very nice, right? And the next thing, we want to move the video to the position, to this position where it is synchronized. Okay, just click here and then move it to here. And now let's listen to it so, so that make sure that it is synchronized. Hello, welcome to another tutorial on my... Okay, so it's synchronized perfectly. And the next thing, we can delete the audio in the camera because we don't want to use that audio, okay? Just click here and delete it. And now you have the video. This is your webcam, so I'm going to split it right here. For example, I want to make an intro for my video. So I want to split it right here. And let's do this here. So this is the beginning. Hello. Welcome to another tutorial on my channel. So the, the audio level is a little bit too high. We can reduce it a little bit. So you know that Filmora 11 screen recorder does, does not allow you to adjust the volume of the, uh, the microphone. So you have to be careful about that. Okay. Sorry. Let me turn off the, the fan first. Okay. All right. So the first webcam effect you want to create is to screen the video to the corner of the video by using keyframe. Okay, so it is very simple. Just put the playhead at the position that you want to, to start the animation. For example, here. And then I can add a keyframe at this position. 
just select the video on the timeline and then click this button add the keyframe okay so this is the first keyframe and the next thing you want to move the playhead to about maybe five frame or something like that and you want to select the video at the preview window and then click at the edge of the video and resize it to this corner okay so this is the first effect for your webcam all right so i'm setting up my uh, screen recording and also my very nice right and if you want to go to full screen again all you need to do is to add another keyframe so just click here add one more keyframe and then move the playhead about three or five frames it's up to you okay and then you can click the video again and if you want you can just click here and resize it to full screen or you can just do like this you can reset the scale and position here okay just reset the scale and also reset the position and it will go full screen and let's see the effect and also my camera so that i can use my camera footage as a webcam very nice right and the second webcam effect you want to create is the circle around your video and it is very easy right i showed you many times about the image mask so all you need to do is to split the video at this position the webcam video okay and then you want to apply the mask image mask effect to this clip let's click ok and you want to go to the effect tab and add the recommended folder you can search mask and press enter okay so this is the image mask all you need to do is to wrap and drop it directly to this video clip on the timeline so you have a very circle circle thing okay uh, okay so it is if you want to adjust this circle like position and scale and something like that all you need to do is to double click at the video and then you want to go back to the video and now select the effect and at the effect we have the image mask here okay so you can also change the shape of the mask also and for example if you want to increase the feather or stuff like that you can do it right here by the way i think it's okay for me okay I'm a lazy video editor <laughs> and let's click OK and now the next thing you want to move this circle to the corner right similarly you can use the keyframe okay so you want to press shift and home to move the playhead to the beginning of this clip and then you want to add one keyframe so this is the first keyframe and you want to move your playhead about five frame or something like that it's up to you and then you want to click here at the preview window and then adjust it and move it to the corner okay and this is the, the next webcam effect uh, okay so it is very simple to create some to go full screen you have to do uh, similarly with the the previous one okay so the first thing you want to add one keyframe and the next thing you want to move the playhead to this position and then you want to click here and resize it to normal or you can also rescale or reposition it right here okay it is easy let's see the effect some webcam effect in Filmora 11 but when it is at this position we want the circle disappear also so we have to split the video clip at this position okay so at the file at the, the second keyframe and then you want to right click at the video clip and select delete effect that's easy right you know that i create so many tutorials here on youtube uh, using other software but now uh... and another another effect is to make the webcam disappear and appear again okay so it is also very easy to use the animation keyframe for example at this position you want your webcam disappear from the screen all you need to do is to add one keyframe here and then you need to move the playhead to about three frame or something like that and then you want to reduce the opacity yeah and it is a disappear effect for your webcam many of you ask me how to create special webcam effect such as the and you want to make it appear again all you need to do is to select here and then add one keyframe 
and move some frame forward and adjust the opacity okay suggest uh, uh, zoom in zoom in your webcam all right so that is how to create some special effect for your webcam in Filmora 11. i hope this tutorial is helpful for you if you have any more questions just let me know in the comment section below and if you want to try Filmora 11 i will put the link in the description for you to download and install it and if you want to purchase the software don't forget to use my 20 percent discount coupon code in the description also okay goodbye and see you again Thank you.